Yes guys, my match day, brand new strand here on GBFC. Every match day, I'm gonna do a little vlog because I miss going to the football and I live the other side of the world. But I wanna take you lot on the emotional, the stressful, the traumatic, the happy, the sad, the hype. I wanna take you on the roller coaster that is being a Chelsea fan. And what is a match day like for me? I'd love to know what your match days look like in the comments down below. Or alternatively, I strongly advise you to do one of these kind of videos. It's actually really fun. I woke up this morning thinking, it's cup final day, but because I'm not going to it, because I'm not in the UK, something feels a bit weird. Am I as excited? Am I not as excited? And I thought, actually, you know what? What would make it more exciting is making a bit more content around every given match day to take you guys on the journey with me. Because obviously sometimes the games are on, well, they're always on in the dark. I never get to watch Chelsea in the daylight like it is now. It's bloody blistering heat today. It's like 40 degrees out there, it's chaos. This one's at 11 p.m. And it's a cup final, so there's kind of like a, an added impetus of excitement for this game and trepidation as well, I would say. So if you do like this, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments if you want to see this more. But cup final day, Pochettino somehow here, having most of this season, I've been looking at this team thinking, we're not going to win anything. We're not going to get anywhere, but we've managed to get to the Carabao Cup final. We're playing against Liverpool. We've lost our last five finals, I think, at Wembley, which is not very nice. I don't like that stat whatsoever. This Liverpool team are beatable. They've got injuries. Yeah, Chelsea have got injuries too. The narrative is all against Chelsea. Everybody wants to see, not everybody, but too many in the media want to see Jurgen Klopp's farewell tour glistening with trophy after trophy. Bollocks to that. We're here to ruin that today. Chelsea Liverpool gave my prediction in the preview. But my honest prediction here is that this goes all the way to penalties. And Petrovic is the Chelsea hero again. I think Nicholas Jackson either wins it for us in normal time or Petrovic is the penalty hero. Don't want to see Sanchez back in the starting 11 today. But in this video, you'll see if he is. And you'll also see if I look like a mug with any of my predictions. Because Liverpool could smash us, couldn't they? Anyway, let's crack on with the day. Went out for breakfast this morning, had a tuna melt toasty. Extra jalapenos inside. It was Delightful. Before we head out, this is Cleo. This is my cat. Cleo, do you think Chelsea are going to win today? Meow if you do. Shit. Let's go to the office. And just like that, as if by magic, we made it to the office. No, I do this every flipping time. Great bag, strap always gets stuck on the door. Just like that, light goes on, and there's the GBFC sign, we're in. All right, so I left the office, and I am now officially stuck, because it is pissing down with torrential rain. Thunder, lightning, you name it. There's also, by the way, look at this. This is one whole villa. This whole thing is just one gargantuan property that someone is going to be moving into what a lucky bloke or woman that might be but yeah we're about five hours away now from kickoff and to be quite honest i don't really go to bed that late anymore i normally get to sleep at like 10 30 every single night i'm not used to the late nights i don't do them so i don't know how i'm gonna bloody stay up tonight hey guys so this year i basically gave up drinking i said i gave up drinking i didn't give it up i just stopped drinking often special occasions only and i mean today if ever there's a special occasion, it's got to be today. Pre-match scran. It's a burger, a hamburger, and some fries. Oh. Mr. Benson. How are we doing? How are you doing? Ben. How's your burger? Well, I haven't started it yet, but wow. What's an honor to be back on your match day vlogs. It's I been know. a couple of years. How many years has it been? Like four years? Four years. And <laughs> pre-COVID, yes. Pre-COVID, but I'm yeah. buzzing. Nice. George actually told me earlier that if Chelsea win, he's going to buy the whole of bench a pint tonight. Am so, I? Yes, you are. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. If it was the Premier League, I probably would. I actually did that in the, the Elk, I think it was. When we won the league in 2017, I don't know how many pints I bought, but I'm pretty sure the whole pub drank. Lawrence, what do you know about football? Nothing. Probably 10 year old Chelsea. Right. I do Liverpool, first of all. Liverpool have got like, Liverpool have got Trent out. They've got Shella Zabala out. They've got Salah nice. out. Get the Scrabble dictionary out for that one. Shalabala, wasn't that the guy that scored with the freaking uh, the, the, the Vuvuzela World Cup with the Jubilani football? What's All I know, four? Chelsea are going to win 4-1 up the shelves. Score prediction. Score prediction. 
I think penalties. It, well, it, it went to uh, penalties the last time Liverpool and Chelsea played. Uh, as I was saying, you're, you're not in England, but you're trying to surround yourself with English people and you've ended up in some pretty dead company. How does that feel? Chelsea! 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 I paid him £6.40 for that. Why do I look so much better than you? I didn't think I was you, that much you, No, you don't. I didn't think I was that much better looking than you. No, you're not. But when I put us next to each other like this, I missed the lid. Well, we're going to win. I think it's going to be 2-1. I think Conor Gallagher's going to score the winner. The score I, the winner are you actually be... genuinely confident Chelsea are going to beat Liverpool in this final? Uh, it's one of those weird games where, like, because they've got so many players out, they might. I think they're going to sit and just counter us. I really think that's what they'll do. It's a them. big, bold prediction. Liverpool actually genuinely have more injuries than I thought they did. Yeah. All of the ones that were kind of like Klopp mind games, it wasn't games. If Chelsea lose now and I've said all of this, I look like such an idiot. Well, it's just another day, isn't it? Yes, Chelsea! Come on! Liverpool started really well. And all of a sudden, I think like, Chelsea are actually showing genuine quality here. Gusto's looking good. Pretty even game so far. I think uh, yeah, Liverpool came out well. Chelsea responded well. Should have scored. Favourite player on the pitch as a neutral? Cole Palmer. Yeah. Great in. Great to hear. 25 minutes into the first half. That's Graben Birch down right now with an injury. But in all honesty, like, the more injuries Liverpool have, the more Chelsea have to win. The more injuries Liverpool have, the more pressure on Chelsea. Saka or Cole Palmer? I'd rather Saka with just a right foot. 29 minutes, Enzo has three options. Yeah. Wait, Enzo, shit. Dina, 100 million. 100 million. That's a goal, that's, that's a brilliant goal. On. That's miles on. He's so, he's so on. He's on, are you mad? Milo, he's on, bro. Are you he's mad? On. This is on site. That's so on site, are you mad? You can't argue with offside. Offside is offside. They got the lines, mate. <laughs> Come on, Chelsea! Get it out! Get it out! It's a proper game of football. It's a proper final. Yeah, it's, it's a... Elliot would not leave I call out. No, he wouldn't. I think Chelsea should be one of them. All the angles I see Wait, and the again. initial play, I feel like it's onside. Hector Bellerin or Connor Bradley? Neither, mate. Bellerin's a vegan. Chibble jump by Uth. Uh, jumping the Sari or Rafa Benitez? Sari's got massive lungs. It's gone to Why has it gone to I am not complaining it's gone to bar, but why has it gone to bar? I feel like it's a goal. That is a joke. What is the decision? I just watched the game of football that I've watched my whole life. That's a goal. Get in there! I've no idea. Let's go! Go, Chelsea! I can only assume they realised they made a mistake with our goal and now they've just loved that goal. It's I mean now. It's evened out. Right, as a football view, yeah, you've got the VAR to help the referee. Now you've got a referee that don't know the fucking game. 25 minutes left and Kuzu's coming on. Sterling's coming off. Both teams have decisions that didn't go the way they should have done. All right, guys, it's now Tuesday morning as the door opens, as I start to lean on it. Yesterday, after the game, I went out and had some food because I couldn't sleep. I can never sleep after Chelsea lose in certain ways in which we do. So I went and got some food and whatever it was kept me in the bathroom all day yesterday on Monday. So I wanted to get up yesterday, get out there and basically just try and forget how pissed off I was about that cup final defeat. And then... Yeah, my stomach kept me in bed all day yesterday, which is not ideal. I can't believe what Pochettino was saying after this game, coming out in a press conference saying that we were playing for penalties in the second half of extra time against an inexperienced Liverpool side who were there for the taking. Yet again, it is unable to finish and a loser's mentality that loses Chelsea that final. And I'm tired of flip-flopping between supporting the manager, not supporting the manager, but that's on the manager. If he's telling the players, yeah, play for penalties, you've got a good chance of winning that, you're an idiot, mate. You're an absolute idiot. It's pathetic, really, from Chelsea. Poor performance. Didn't really give everything. A lot of the players coming out saying we did give everything, but did we? That's the question that I have for you lot in the comments down below. Gutted with that. But we move again. It's Leeds in the Cup this midweek. If you did enjoy the vlog, I know it's obviously difficult to enjoy something new when we lose. But if you can take the result away from things, let me know if you enjoy the format. Six things we learn. It's a bit late after the game now and I was sick all day yesterday. So I might still get six things we learn out. If not, we're going to move on. Focus on the Leeds game. But if you did enjoy this, hit the like button. 
Gutted for Chelsea, but we move. Come on, you blues.